Hi YouTube, second video for today. I actually um, wanted to come on and go through some of my products, which is going to be a 2011 Save Products, Favorite Products. Okay, I mean, I didn't know I was going to have actually this much products, but um, I do, and then I have more, but I just did what I have, which is kind of like a lot for this video, so I want to hurry up and get started because it is kind of a lot. Um, first, I'm going to go through some makeups that I got, and then it'll be the hairs, which are my fades, but I do have a little, some dislikes in the fades. But here we go. Makeup. Just came across NYX, and this is the NYX eyeshadow base. Um, I just started learning about the uh, eyeshadows because I wasn't an um, eyeshadow fan until I started watching YouTube, a lot of the YouTubers doing their eyeshadows, and they're doing really, really nice. I like them. And then I came across some NYX, well, first it was the pencil, I always had that in my cart. And then I came across this, which is better than the pencil because you don't have to sharpen it. It's just a little, little, little case of a eye base shadow and it's like the milk. I, I'm sure you guys seen it, it goes on the eye shadow and it makes the eye shadow pop really great. Love this. And NYX, um, I'm just starting to purchase a lot of NYX. Thing, and this is one of them that makes your eyeshadows pop. Love this. Save. And this is uh, an eye brightener. It's a natural eye light, which I have on right now. It gives you a nice little, if you don't feel like wearing eyeshadow at all, and you just want to put something on your eyes, some type of makeup, this lovely product, it's like an eye brightener. It just brightens the eye up a little bit. This is another one of my faves. I don't wear it too often, but like I said, if I don't feel like putting on makeup and I just add this, great. Um, here's another NYX. This is a lipstick. I actually have this on right now. It's called uh, Narcissus. It's like that pink color lipstick, and it has the, it tells you the color there at the bottom. It's, it's like a pink Narcissus. Um, this is okay. I guess I'm not too sure of how I really feel about the NYX. I see a lot of girls wearing them pretty different color lips. And it's like the pink. Um, anyway, sorry, somebody's going upstairs. But um, it's okay. It's okay. Um, not favorite fave, but it's, it's okay. Then I have two more by NYX. Actually, these are the lip glosses. One is a natural, and one is the baby pink. These two are good, and I also have some more coming. I'm going to actually do a tutorial on the NYX when I have the lip glosses and just do the swatches. A lot of girls are doing the swatches. I love the NYX. I'm starting to purchase a lot of the NYX. And these two, the neutral, it's okay, and so is the uh, baby pink goes on really light, so I wear a... Um, a liner pencil with it, but really like them. Okay, that will sum it up for my makeup. Now we're getting ready to go into the products. Okay, we're going to start out with the conditioners. Try to make conditioner. You can use this as co-wash. Uh, I've used this in so many different ways. Basically co-wash. Um, I have another big bottle of this, but um, you know how you used it and you stopped? because you're such a product junkie and you go through all your other products. But when I did use this, this was like a, a curly, with the curly girl method I used to use with this. I can put this in my hair after it, I co-wash it and just put it through. Actually, it's in there right now. I mean, it'll give it a nice, nice curl and you can put the gel in with it. It's actually in there right now and it makes it really nice and curly. Really nice and curly. This is this is a fave. I love it. And it's um, Tresemme uh, Vitamin B1 Curl Moisturizing for Curly or Wavy Hair Conditioner. This is good. Like I said, you can co-wash your hair, get out, put this in. I do some scrunching and I put a gel in after. Great. And I, like I said, I have this in right now. Okay. Another conditioner. Well, I'm not going to start with that one. It was my other co-wash, Suave, and VO5, which I don't have any anymore right now. 
but uh, Suave is the next best thing to that. So these are great co-washing conditioners phase. Um, okay, another conditioner. This is called the Diva Curl No Pro. This is another fave. Um, this is like on my hair wash day. I would use this No Pro because I really don't use the shampoos. So this is like a, a like a pool. It's a No Pro, but I use this and it's awesome. I love it. Um. And there is another conditioner that I actually forgot to bring, but I have like a lot of Dominican um, conditioners that is, I would, you know, do a deep con treatment with. I actually forgot them. I have a bit, a bit of uh, those, which they're Dominican conditioners, and you know, you leave them in for the treatments, which I, I used to do each week, but I kind of stopped. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do my next conditioner treatment. My hair is not really damaged or anything like that, but I do have quite a bit of the um, Dominican conditioners. Um, and my Wayne, this is the Fig Cleansing Conditioner. Love, love, love. Um, I've used it down to here. I go. I don't never just use it until I'm finished. It. I just use it and go to something else, but this is a fave. And this is something like the win. It's the hair one. It's also a hair cleansing conditioner if you if you don't like the shampoos. And this is similar to when if you like when this is the next best thing. A fave. Okay. <sighs> um one and only Oregon. I would use this as a, it's like a curl cream. This is okay. I like this a lot. Um, use this something like a moisturizer. Really good. It's like a a moisturizer. I like. And what else? My my Shea Moisture. This is definitely a fave. Definitely. I started out using the uh, curl enhancing smoothie when I first became natural and used it all basically all summer before I started becoming a product junkie. But now I'm using this back again because this is going to be like my stable with, you know, the gel. But we haven't got to the gel yet. But yeah, these. I think that's it for the moisture risers. Well, I have my coconut here. This is the, uh, you know, my coconut moisturizer. I put this through usually after it's dry. It came in a hard consistency, but because it stays out, it's liquidy. That's the save. As well as here's another one. I'm at the bottom of that. Um, coconut hair oils. Pure. These are pure coconut oils. Save. Um, I forgot this. This is the Aussie conditioner that I co-wash with. Great face. Um, here was the another, it's a curl whipped cream. Like this. This is awesome. It's a face when I do use it. And it's called the Mango Oil Koopa Koo Butter. Okay. This was a uh, infusium hair leave-in. After you finish your co-wash, you can use this for after like a leave-in. It's a phase. Great, great product. I don't know if you guys have heard of uh, something called Sammy Curls. This is a pretty good product. Um, the only thing it leaves your hair a little dry, sort of dryish, but um, for the most part, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. You know. You're running, uh, you don't have any curl creams, you ran out, grab this. It's, it's good. Just to leave it a little dry, just make sure you moisturize. Um, this is a, I love this. When I first got this, I was so in love with it. It's somewhere down here. Don't use it as much as I used to, but it's called um, Mark Anthony Strictly Curls. Curl Envy. Very good product. I used to love this when I use it. I just have so many products, but um, this was a save. This is definitely a save.
Twisted Sister. Um, when I pray, this is my second one. Um, I haven't really used this like I used the other one. Um, but this was definitely a fave. I just didn't like the ingredients because it had the, um, petroleum in it. But it gave great definition for my hair. Great definition. This was a fave too. And there was another... I don't know. I've got this at CVS. I've seen this a couple of times. Um, this wasn't so much a fave. Um, I put this in. It's supposed to be, uh, a, it's a curl cream. It's called Nuisance Salem Hayak. I don't know. Um, this pretty much was not a fave. So I will never purchase this one again. Okay. We have Beyond the Zone. Um, when I got this, it was, it was okay. Um, I used it, but then I put it back in the closet. It, it was okay. Not so much a fave. Just okay. Same with this. AG. It's a, one of the popular ones. AG, uh, Curl Recoil. This gave me a nice tussle curl look, but, um, it's not actually a fave. Maybe one day I'll do a video on this one. I said I'm going to wait until my hair gets a little longer and see how this works with my hair. But when I put this in, I always notice I have straight, stringy ends all over the place with this. So, I don't know. It's really not a fave, but I will try it again. And I used to use this Alpha G Keratin. Green tea reconstructor. This was definitely a save. Um, I had just had so much stuff that you know how you can't get to all the stuff. I try to rotate and use, uh, try to use much products as I can because I'm actually I'm in the process of using most of my products that I have up. Um, this is definitely a save. I do like this one. And now I'm down to the gels. Guys, I'm finally down to the gels. Okay, this is Herbal Essence. Um, I'm sure you've heard of this one, Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Gel. It's a uh, level two. This is okay. It's not really a fave, but it's okay. It'll do. It will do, definitely. Now I'm down to my favorite gels, which is my pink, which is almost gone. I just started using my Echo Gels again, as I said, in the summertime. I used to use my gels with the uh, Shea Moisture Smoothie. Those were like hand in hand. Those are great together. So I'm back to doing those. I'm back to the smoothie and I'm back to the, the Echo Gels. Pink is one of my faves. The blue, of course. I haven't opened this one yet, but I'm trying to finish the rest of my Echo Gels. Uh, blue and the pink are like my face. Oh my goodness. And I also have the yellow one. This is also good. So this is also down to the wire with this. So I'm going to finish the pink and the, um, the yellow before I actually open my blue. I do have some clear. The clear was not my fade. Um, I don't know. They just make the hair extra hard that I don't really care for. So if I do use the clear, I would get it for my ends if I want to staple my ends down to make them stay more tapered look. That's what I would use the, um, the clear for. But pretty much, guys, it's a wrap. I'm done. But that was Basically, you know what my faves were for the 2011 year, and my stable products are going to be my Shea Moisture and my Echo Gel Pink and my Echo Gel Blue. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks. Subscribe, rate, let me know.